What's good, Gray Gang? How you been doing? Okay, guys, let's bring it in here a little bit. I'm a little bit too bright right here. Let's take it down a notch. There we go. That looks good. Okay, so this, oh my gosh, these bugs are what in the world? But anyways, guys, you guys have read the title. It says, I can't do this anymore. So, you know, I mean, let me tell you what this is. Oh my gosh, like, guys, look at these bugs. Look at all those bugs. Are you kidding me? I'm getting out of here, boys. Forget the hay bale. We're going over there. Okay, so here's what's happening. About a month ago, I switched from every single day, which, guys, that is a lot of videos and a lot of work. And then about a month ago, I downshifted into every other day, and, like, that's sort of what this video is for, guys. These bugs are following me. What in the world? We but back to what I was talking about. A video every other day. I just can't do that anymore now before i tell you this i just want to let you know this is not my decision i do not want to change my schedule again but it's sort of not my decision in a way but anyways here's what's happening previously my schedule was every other day which some weeks it'd be three days a week other weeks it'd be four days a week now what's going to be happening is it's going to be three days a week like i said guys this isn't my decision however those days are going to be monday thursday and saturday so you know on star wars episode three where there's like that big planet with like the big hole on it and obi-wan kenobi's like talking to the alien dude and he's like i can't do it they're right behind me we are being held hostage they are watching us 10th level thousands of battle droids well in a way that is my situation so basically am i comparing my youtube situation to star wars yes Yes, I am. Like, it's not my decision to post three days a week. If it was up to me, I'd honestly be posting every single day, but it's just like they won't let me. And so who are they? Well, I can't really say that because they're probably watching this video. However, there's really not much use in worrying about variables that we can't change. Like, there's honestly, you know, I probably can't change it. I can only post three days a week. Here's the thing, guys. In a month or two, I think I can change that. But as of right now, it ain't happening. But I did mention consistent videos on Saturday. And boy, on Saturday, we're actually bringing something back, boys. Because a lot of people missed it. I'm going to be doing the verse of the week. And it, since I'm not doing videos on Sunday anymore, I'm going to be popping them up up there on Saturday. So now whenever we go to end our week on a Saturday, we're going to have a much requested verse of the week for you guys. What in the world? These bugs have followed me everywhere. Oh my gosh. Guys, these bugs are awful. We're moving locations yet again. Hopefully they won't follow me this time. But they probably will. Now, I did move locations, and as of now, which I did just get here, there is no bugs that followed me, but they may be on their way. But anyways, we did switch locations to a pond. But we didn't just come to a pond for no reason. Okay, so let me set the scene for you. So a few days ago, I just had the urge to get on eBay and just buy some. So I did, and I don't know how to use this, but I mean, I bought it. I bought a cast net. Now, like I just said, I don't have a clue how to use this, but I figured it'd be a cool experience trying to learn. And to be honest, guys, I don't even know how to open this thing. How do you open it? Okay, here we go. Here we go. I figured it out. Okay, so here's what it is. That's all I know. I don't even know how to open it from here. Okay, so I mean, I guess you unwrap it here. This is hard enough getting it unwrapped. Yet alone throwing it. I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, and we're also going to try to use this at the lake if I don't, like, you know, die right here. But here we go. First thing, I don't know, but maybe... Oh, what in the world is this? What in the world is this? What are all these? What is this thing? Okay, we're making, we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Now the only problem is how do I throw it? And why is there such a long rope on it? Like this thing's every bit of 20 feet right here. So I mean, I guess you maybe, you wrap it around your hand or something. I don't know. Now like I said guys, I don't have the first clue in the world what I'm doing. But that's why I'm starting here at the pond instead of out on the lake. I don't have any previous experiences, but... Okay, that didn't work. I mean, yeah, it did go in the water. But it did not fan out like it was supposed to. I didn't catch nothing. Try again, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Okay, that time it got wrapped around my foot, so it didn't do anything there. Ah! Oh, man, I may have messed it up right here. Okay, okay, still going. It's the, Hey, hey, I caught something. I caught some grass. Hey, guys, it may not be much to you, but that's the most I've got all day. Y'all may be laughing now, but we'll see if you is laughing whenever I pull up like a 20-pound bass in this thing. I mean, I guess I throw it out like... Hey, that's the best one so far. Except it did come over here and whiplash me on the shoulder a little bit. Didn't catch anything, though. And the bugs are back. What would you say about that? The stinking bugs are back. I think I got one. I think I got one. Nope. Well, guys, I mean, it seems fun if I can ever get the hang of it. But now here's my next question. How do I get this massive net thing back into this little... Oh. Oh, okay. There's directions in here. Maybe I should have read these before I started. I mean, I guess I'll catch y'all heading to the lake because we're going to try to get some shad tonight. We're also going to try to catch some bass on bluffs. But besides that, I'm going to sit here and swat these flies. Stay at the lake. But before we head to the lake, I just want to show y'all something real quick. Blue tongue. 
has struck again. And this in here, that's actually a really, really young. That's a fawn, actually. That's a fawn that just lost her spots. It may be a boy, maybe a girl. I don't know yet. There's really no way to tell anymore because, you know, like half his body's there. Blue tongue's not over with. It's still killing. Okay, guys, if you can't tell, we are on the lake. And uh, if you can't tell, by the dock, well, the water's down a little bit. That's like a pretty steep angle, too. So, yeah. The lake's uh, pretty low today. Now, today's going to be a fun day, even if we don't even get the first bite. The reason is because today, we have options out here. Number one option, number one plan, we have this Danelle jig. Now, we're just going to throw it around bluffs. You know, a couple weeks ago, I pretty well, uh, well lost really bad in the tournament because I was too stubborn to fish bluffs. So today, we're going to fish bluffs and hopefully gain some confidence in it. But our first option, a jig and fishing. Our second option, just in case the fish aren't biting, we have this cast net, which y'all seen, I got this morning. Do I know how to use it? No. Do I know how to find shad? No. But that's why we have a third option. That third option is an underwater camera. Now, if we don't catch any fish with the jig, we're going to be using this underwater camera to find the fish. If we still can't find the fish, we're going to go home because there's no reason to be on a lake if we can't find the fish with a camera. But anyways, first things first. Let's go throw this jig around a bluff. And right here's a bluff. What about that? Now, I'm not a professional bluff fisherman, but I I have talked to some and what they said is you know find a place like a dent or something like that something where something's broke or something so here we got a little divot little something that sticks out just gonna cast over to it and let it fall way down you know if it hits a shelf or something just barely pop it off but just let it fall until it hits the bottom usually they're not gonna follow it all the way down to the bottom since the bottom is 68 feet but usually whenever they bite they'll hit it on the drop so if like this i feel it's, it's hit the bottom whenever your jig stops it's only got two options one it's hit the bottom or two a fish has bit it on the way down so that's what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna fish a jig here around the bluffs a little bit then if that don't work we may go try to find some shad then after that you know plan c get out the camera there he is Woo! I got one. Hey, that's that's all that matters. I came out here. Oh, I about lost him right there. Came out here. Never caught a bluff fish before. I don't care about size. I care that I got a fish as I'm chasing him all around the front deck. But uh, yeah, guys, I just caught the first one. He's not big at all, but here's the thing, okay? I was fishing the jig and everything. I wasn't getting no bites, like, at all. And then one time, I saw a tree in the water, so I just stuck the camera in it, you know? Just... Not really meaning to do much, just to check. And I actually did see a bunch of fish like this. And I just wanted to catch fish like this. So then I tied on a small shaky head. Literally the smallest worm I got, boom, got the smallest fish in the lake, but that's good enough. But uh, yeah, see you later, buddy. Okay, guys, well, the fish, you know, we only caught one, and it's been about two hours, and we only got, like, an hour left till darkness, but anyway, over there, there's a little cut. We passed it bass fishing, but what I seen in it was bait fish, and I mean, like, there's quite a few bait fish, and they weren't moving, which makes me feel maybe I can catch them with the net. Now, I would go after shad and try to net some shad, except there's a problem, and, like, I don't know how to find shad, yet alone keep them in one spot to throw a net at them. So, instead, I'm gonna get on the trolling motor, get as close up to that little dent as I can without spooking them, and then just, like, straight up try to throw the net right on top of them. Bro, there's a fish. Oh, dang it, you're kidding me. Wow. Did you see that? I just had a fish on. That was my first cast with this crankbait. This is the first time I picked it up all day and I just had a fish. It had just hit the water too, so it ain't even been, it wasn't even digging into the bottom, but that's a good sign if my first cast with a crankbait, I hook a good one too. It wasn't no dink either. So yeah, it sort of did just work out like that. I only caught one fish a day, didn't catch any shad, and well, sort of used underwater camera. However, I did get a fire Instagram picture with that fish. Now, speaking of Instagram, I actually had two people tag me in their photos, and what their photos was is they had the SSOG matching hat and shirt repping the merch, tag me in it. If you tag me on Instagram, no matter what it is, even if it's like just a straight up picture of your ear, I will like that sucker. There's a 99% chance I will. The one other percent that I won't is like, what if I die, guys? You never know about that stuff, you never know. And those two lucky people who tagged me, Hey, right here they are. Let me show you. The first one right here, we got Carter. Right up there is his username. Go follow him real quick. He's got the matching SSOG and the SSOG hat and shirt. The next one is this right here. Benjamin Corbin right there. Same exact thing. Got the matching SSOG shirt and hat right there. There you go, guys. Tag me in a picture on Instagram and I will like your photo. And even better, if that picture is you wearing my merch, whether it's the hat, the decal, the shirt, any piece of my merch, I'm going to comment on that, baby. So one, tag me in a photo and I'll like it. 
Two, tag me in a photo and be wearing the merch, and boom, I'm commenting on that thing. And another way I'll comment on it, put hashtag Jesus in it. Hashtag Jesus, put hashtag Grey Gang if you want to. But yeah, guys, right here at Kendall Grey one on Instagram, go ahead, follow me on there, because a lot of stuff goes on Instagram that doesn't go on YouTube. Just saying. But anyway, hey, I'll see you later. Signing y'all out with... Bye. If you're not part of the Grey Gang, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right and feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left. As always, Favorite Squad, post it up down low. If you want some of this sweet merch, head on over to kennelgray1.com or the link in the description. But besides that, I'll catch you later in tomorrow's video.